lovely people. I'm here to do a 10 minute trusting video for you guys. Um, it's been a while and I'm sat outside and it's a beautiful late summer's uh, day. I'm noticing the shadows that keep appearing and disappearing on my page from the foliage behind me and the sun shining through that is creating these lovely dappled patterns on my page and I'm also sat next to a couple of branches from my eucalyptus trees that I pruned yesterday and they are um, that gorgeous grey blue colour and the stems are also a lovely kind of pinkish brown and the combination of those two colours together has inspired me today. I actually by coincidence happened to have bought a few new paints recently in exactly this colour palette so I've got this lovely bluish sagey green um, and also some uh, magenta which I add on later. So I've done a bit of finger painting which is always fun um, I started on a page that I'd already done some journaling, some, some writing on um, quite a while back. I can't even remember what it was about. And I certainly can't read it because I often journal in a way that is illegible uh, for privacy purposes. <laughs> but you can do that too, you know. Um, it helps you be honest on the page and be honest before God. And so I added a few squiggles there using some carbon paper. And now I'm adding some collage with some different newspaper and um, tea dyed paper. And I'm cutting out random circles um, and sticking them on, I, I guess inspired by the round shape of the eucalyptus leaves. And I'm thinking about the way that leaves filter the light um, as they're doing onto my page. And I'm thinking about Jesus as the light of the world and the way in which uh, the world sees Jesus through us. And I've often thought about this as a bit of a crazy plan, really, that uh, God should want to show himself to the world now um, through his people, human beings who are fallible and um, don't get it right a lot of the time. And yet that is his perfect plan for his church, for you and me, by church I mean all Christians everywhere, to be a light on a hill, you know, a city on a hill, shining its light, not hidden under a bushel, uh, but showing the light of Jesus to the world. And that's a, a big responsibility, isn't it? And we can often feel like we're not up to it, that maybe we're not showing the world Jesus, we're just showing them our human weakness a lot of the time. Um, so I guess the light, I was thinking the light from Jesus comes to the world filtered through us and not exactly pure if you like and untainted um, and yet even in our weakness we can show and maybe especially in our weakness we can still show the world God's love and God's character um, and be witnesses to what he's done in our life. And I was also thinking about the way that um, in our imperfection, we all do that slightly differently, that some of us are better at some things and some of us are better at others. And uh, maybe that's the plan that uh, kind of in the way that a kind of prism filters, uh, spreads out the light into different colours of the rainbow, a spectrum. Maybe I might be a green in that spectrum and you might be a blue and somebody else might be an orange. Uh, but together we show the world what Jesus is like. 
And I found that there was already a sun on this page that I doodled when I was doing my journaling. So I just went over that with the pink uh, Neo Color crayon to highlight it. And I'm writing out now the question, how do you filter the light? What is your unique mix of gifts and talents uh, that enable you to show something of what Jesus is like to the world. I'm just activating that uh, water-soluble uh, neo-colour crayon now with some water. And it was interesting that as it hit the other, as um, I'm following the rays of light, as they hit uh, the other neo-colour that I put on the page, which is a Prussian blue, it activated the blue as well and together they made a whole new colour and I just got a sense that that was kind of part of the mystery of the kingdom that as we shine our light we activate and enable others to shine their light too and shine their true colours give them confidence to be who they are and know that that is valuable in the kingdom too. They might not be like me, um, they might not be like someone else, but they have their own special way of filtering the light of Jesus to the world. <laughs>